Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our gathered skirt. So here I have our two rectangle pieces which are found in the cutting chart and they are placed right sides together. I am using fabric from my very first collection uh, called West Palm Fabrics for Art Gallery um, that will be shipping to stores pretty soon. I'm really excited. So I have my skirt pieces here and what you're gonna do is sew a serge down each side seam right here. I have mine folded because it's just a little too big for the camera shot so um, go ahead and sew and serge down each side. After that we will have to um, press our hems. I'm gonna get my trusty little uh, Cricut ironing mat. I use this all the time. I mean you've probably seen me use it in every video. It's uh, very handy. This is the large size. If you get one I highly rec recommend the large. Uh, just a lot more versatile. So for the seam allowance on our skirt, we are gonna fold it up a half inch. Now if you have a hem gauge or anything like that, you can go ahead and use that. Me, um, I hem skirts all day, every day, so I just eyeball it. I'm not super picky. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hem it up, or press it up a half inch along the whole entire bottom piece. Okay, I have hem or I have pressed up the entire bottom of my skirt a half an inch. Now, make sure if you're using a directional print that you're hemming the bottom of your skirt. Uh, this is a directional. You can kind of see from the back where the lines go. Uh, the way I designed it, I know that's the way it goes. So, um, make sure you're not hemming the top of the skirt, or your design will be upside down. So now I'm going to go ahead and fold it up another half inch. Okay, my entire uh, bottom skirt hem has been pressed, uh, folded and pressed, so the raw edges are enclosed. I'm gonna go ahead to my sewing machine and stitch about 3 eighths of an inch from the edge, um, top stitch it all the way around. I'll be back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to gather the top of our skirt. There's a few different ways that you can do it. I'm gonna teach you the correct way uh, today. Um, but the way I normally do it is I put my stitch length on the longest stitch and uh, I raise my tension up and it, as I'm sewing it will automatically start to gather it which gives me a great base for adjusting the skirt to fit my bodice. Um, you, the best way to do it though is to use a basing stitch um, where it won't gather so keep your tension the same and to do two rows. Um, the benefit of doing two rows while you're um, working with gathers is if you break one of your threads, you have a backup. Uh, another benefit too is it looks really cool. Um, your, your gathers will look really nice and even, um, like the little pleats that it creates. It looks really good when you do two. I typically only do this um, on the fancier dresses because I'm typically in a hurry, so. Um, whatever, whichever way you want to do, but yeah, so a basing stitch is just a long stitch length. So that's what I did. I sewed about a quarter of an inch away from the raw edge with a basing stitch all the way around, and I uh, kept long tails as well. That helps grab them for when you're getting ready to gather. Then I sewed another basing stitch along the top about um, maybe not even quite a quarter of an inch from my first line. So I have two rows of basting stitches here. So let's go ahead and get gathering. Um, I like to gather through the bobbin threads and I do this because uh, I was actually told, I don't even remember when or who told me, but they're stronger than what your top threads would normally be as far as the way they're stitched in there. So I'm going to grab the back of the top and bottom row here if I can find the other one, here it is. So I have the bobbin th thread of these two rows right here. So I'm going to kind of keep those set aside. And all I do is I just kind of give them a pull and you want to keep them, keep your uh, threads almost um, parallel or horizontal with your skirt. That way it's just easier to grab and pull some fabric through. You want to bring it all the way to this other 
edge back here, and then we'll flip it and do the other edge as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just gather, and you can check it out. Okay, you can see I've kind of gathered my skirt. Um, I just kind of gathered it as much as I thought I needed to. Um, what we're gonna do next is bring our bodice, and you'll see here that I have it nice and flat, because I wanna measure my skirt, um, how much it is gathered to make sure it's the same width as my bodice. I don't want it any bigger, or when we sew it to the bodice, it could stretch the bodice out and it kind of flare out like that. We don't want that. And if it's too tight, you might end up getting puckers in, uh, in your bodice. So, you just like the three little bears. It's gotta be just perfect. So I'm gonna grab my um, bobbin threads again. I'm just gonna kinda measure where my side seams are. Like I have a side seam here and right here. So this is where I'm at. So that's almost good. I'm gonna maybe adjust it just a little bit. Okay, right, right there. I like where that's at right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna take these threads that I have um, from the bobbin, and I want to take my front threads, and I'm just going to tie those two into a knot to kind of keep my skirt gathers from shifting on me while I'm pinning. Um, as you can probably tell right here, my gathers are not all that great just yet. Um, I don't like to adjust my gathers too much right now until I have the side seams pinned. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me get my pins. So I'm gonna take my skirt, my bodice is right sides out. I'm gonna take my skirt and flip it over it so my skirt is wrong side out. And I'm gonna take the side seam of my bodice and match it with the side seam of my skirt. And I'm gonna pin right there. Make sure it's lined up nice and pretty because you don't want it to look off. Um, where's my side seam? Here we go. So here's my skirt side seam and my bodice side seam. It's gonna give that a good pin. Okay. Let me give it a good shake too here. Okay, so now I can kinda, kinda wiggle it a little bit like that, kinda even out your gathers some that way. And then you can kinda see like right here is missing some gathers. There's quite a bit right here and right here. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it kind of stretched with my fingers holding it like this. And I'd like to just kind of grab and just slightly adjust. It doesn't take much to make it look even, especially if you did two rows of stitching. Um, it's usually, it looks pretty nice. You just gotta fill in some areas here and there. So I like where that's at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a pin in the center front, or maybe it's the back. I'm not quite sure what I'm pinning to right now. Just some of those gathers right there. I'm gonna put another pin right there and one in between the center front and the side seam. Okay, so now we know those are nicely adjusted. We'll come and do this side now. There we go. Now our um, Skirt is pinned to our bodice. I'm gonna head over to, and you're, you're pinning it to both the main and the lining layers, and we're just gonna um, serge and sew around those so it is an exposed seam, but that's okay. Uh, so go ahead and sew or serge around your bodice seam. Okay, I went ahead and surged around my skirt and bodice seam. Um, if you kind of feel it, you can't really do any stretching, but we have a knit bodice. Why is that? Um, that is because we have our gathering stitches in there still. Um, there's a few things you can do. The funnest one to me is to kind of just pull it just enough to snap a few of them, and you can kind of pull it and it will loosen it up. Um, or you can get your seam ripper out and uh, seam rip each one. But just for fun, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of pop them. Just pull it. You don't want to stretch too much because you don't want to break your surge. You know, I have a it sews and surge at, surges at the same time. It is a stretch stitch, but I don't want to stretch and break it too much. So just grab it a little bit, 
and I heard it pop right here. And then you can kind of grab it and start pulling it out. If you only did one stitch, um, you probably won't see it on the outside. Let me flip this so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So because I did two rows of stitching, you can see I have this whole row right here that needs to be taken out because I don't want to see that when uh, my daughter's wearing her dress. So um, I like to actually do it from the back side. So I can actually I can pop it again. It's kind of fun. Pop it again. So once you kind of get it popped a little bit, you can start to move the gathers around and you can feel for it. Now see, I pulled all that out. See, so now I have this nice long one and just kind of pull. This is one of the main reasons why I don't really do two rows of stitching because I don't like to take the time to remove it. Um, right now I'm having a really good day because look at how much I got. Sometimes when I do it, I always end up popping it every few inches and it takes forever to remove. This one's actually working in my favor today, yay. After you remove um, your stitches from the back, you can come to the front and grab them like that, and then they all just kind of come out. And of course, where I had my uh, gathering things right there, you can kind of pull those out too. There, get all your threads out. There's the other gathering stitch. I wasn't going to remove that because you can't see it, but since it came right out, might as well, right? Make sure everything's out from the back. There you go. Okay, now I think we got both layers of our gathering stitch out, which is even better, I guess. So there you go. You now have your dress completed if you're adding um, like the little back bows, or if you did the bow center, you can go ahead and make your bows and attach those um, as stated and put your bow center on if you're doing this bow back version. Just go ahead and put that on there and then you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching our Skylar Sew Along video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're here. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Simple Life Patterns. And you can shop our website at thesimplelifecompany.com.